Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am still continuing the horoscope series and in this video, it's gonna be all about Virgo. And before I begin, I would like to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates and also give this video a thumbs up. As usual, I am starting this video off with my base and brows on already. Here I am taking my JCAT Beauty Hollywood eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take the darkest deep brown and I'm gonna put that right into my crease. I usually like to go in with a lighter transition shade, but in today's video, I'm going in with a darker first because I, I want this look to be super intense. And the brush that I'm using to apply this is a tapered, somewhat dense brush by Tarte. Now, I know I do a lot of brown in my crease area, but because today's look is going to be all about Virgo, one of their color is natural brown. It's a very simple color that's associated with elegance, simplicity, earth, elegance, and of course, the season fall. Now I'm just taking a lighter shade and I'm just gonna blend out those edges. Now what I use to describe the color natural brown also describes a Virgo very well. First off, the zodiac Virgo is the sign of a virgin. This means they are naturally going to possess feminine traits. They typically look youthful, they have very innocent, delicate features, and sometimes they can be a little bit naive. But this is only because they're pure, they're innocent, and they're honest. Virgos are dedicated, hardworking people to the point where they can be considered somewhat of a perfectionist. This at times can make them very anxious where they become overwhelmed. They're self-critical and sometimes can't overanalyze. Again, this is the perfectionism that they have inside of them. I know all of this talk seems like they are overdoing themselves to the point where it's a little toxic, but the good thing is that they are very health conscious. They like to keep a healthy diet as well as stay physically active. Doing this really helps balance out their physical state from their mental state. Now going back to this makeup look, I have applied more of that brown shade onto my crease just to really help intensify the color. When you blend out the edges to smooth everything out, you do tend to lose a lot of that pigment. So again, that's the reason why I'm going back in with so much of that pigment. So for this eye look today, I am going to be doing a cut crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a small detailing concealer brush and also my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Just gonna go ahead and carve out a nice dome line first, and then I'll go back in and pull the product down towards my eyelid. Of course, doing this really cleans everything up and it also is a great eyeshadow base. As you can see here, I am very excited because I just bought the 35B Morphe eyeshadow palette and this is my first time playing with it. I am first going to take that deep dark green shade at the lower bottom and I am going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna pack this color on until I achieve a desirable dark intense green color. So I'm also gonna go ahead and apply this color at the outer corner of my eye, creating a halo look. And because the brush that I'm using is a little bit too big for me to get into the small details, I'm gonna go ahead and take a small detailing brush and go ahead and fill in the gap. Now aside from the color brown, green is also a color that is associated with a Virgo. Both colors are very much so represented in nature and on earth. And you tend to see a lot of these two colors in our natural world. The color green specifically represents purity, nature, and progress, as well as health. Now I'm gonna go into a lighter green and I'm just gonna apply that to the rest of my lid. Furthermore about the color green, if you think about it, it really is a combination of the color yellow and blue mixed together. With that being said, a person associated with the color green gets their mental clarity from the color yellow and they get their emotion and insights from the color blue, which gives great balance between the two. Also, the color green is sometimes associated with being new or inexperienced. This sounds very much so like a Virgo, hence the sign of a virgin. Now, I know that when a lot of people think of the word virgin, they think of a young woman who has not yet had sexual intercourse. For Virgos, whether this applies to them or not, they are actually really obsessed with sex. However, not in a way where they want it and desire it all the time. They're more fascinated with the details and techniques that they can use during sex. This can come off as if they're cold-hearted to their partner because it comes off as if they're more concerned about the physical aspect rather than the emotional aspect. But to comfortably get a Virgo out of this state, they just need a lot of reassurance. And right here, I'm just blending away the last little bits.
Now I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and grab that shimmery pink and I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner of my eyes. And like with most shimmery shades, I like to use my fingers to apply that just because I feel like it gives the ultimate color payoff. And now I'm just going to magically finish my other eye off camera. And I also applied false lashes off camera. And right here is actually a sample of the Too Faced Glitter Glue that I am going to apply pretty much underneath my eyes. And to do this, I'm just using a random BH Cosmetic brush. I think any brush would do. And I'm just lightly patting this on my skin just so that I don't move any of the foundation underneath. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers to apply some iridescent pieces right on top of that glitter glue. And I felt doing this really represented Virgo's purity and innocence. Of course, I can't forget the other side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on my left side. Moving on, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some false lashes onto my lower lash line. I simply just cut up some old lashes that I no longer was using and I'm using them for my lower lashes. So I am going to apply a total of two pieces on each eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner and just line my lower waterline. And if you guys are following along, I suggest you guys do this before you apply the iridescent pieces onto your skin because it was hard for me to apply this on without having to tug on my lower cheek. Now right here, I went ahead and added a jewel piece right down the center of my forehead as well as put my hair up in a ponytail. And after this, I seriously thought I was done with this look, but I almost forgot about my lips. And for lips today, I am going with the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX. I don't know what this shade is called, but it's very berry-like, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my lips. I decided to go with the pink shade today because I thought it was a great representation of Virgo's femininity. Now I'm going to go in with the second shade. This shade is a little bit lighter just to help add more dimension to the lips. Finally, I'm just going to go ahead and add the Venti Lip Balm Lip Gloss onto my lips just to give it that youthful look. And now I am finally done. This is definitely one of my favorite looks I have ever done so far. Let me know what you think of this look down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.